Hello guys, my name is Death, welcome to Autocraft. It's been a really long time since I last made an episode, nearly two months. In that time a lot of stuff has happened. For one, we started prepping for our next season, and the release date for 1.19 was confirmed, which as it stands currently is June 8th, which should be four or five days after this video releases. And since we don't have much time left, I think it's now time to wrap up the season and begin prep work for season three. So this video, we're not really gonna be doing anything on the server. This is just gonna be a talking head video, essentially. So if you'd like to have this running in the background where you're playing Minecraft or doing something else, be my guest. So, you may be wondering why I haven't released a video in quite a while. Well, I've been posting on Twitter, I've been doing community posts on here along with talking in Discord, so if you aren't in any of those, make sure you subscribe, follow my Twitter and join my respective Discords for all news related to, well, YouTube stuff. But essentially, in April, I decided to take a one month break, mainly because I was experiencing a bit of burnout and because I had some university projects due. If you didn't know, I am a university student. In fact, I'm in my final year of university right now and at the end of April, I had my final university projects due. So instead of making content during that month while working on my projects, I decided to focus entirely on those university projects to ensure I got the best grade possible. So yeah, while I was on my break, lots of stuff has been happening, others have been playing on the server, building lots, as you can see by flying through the shopping district. The Castle Cola project over there was finished and it looks amazing and there's lots of other stuff going on which I won't be showing in this video so make sure you check out the other members, links in the description for all of that stuff. So with that information out of the way, well, what we're going to be doing? Well I'd like to talk about this season, so this will be a bit of a season retrospective, I like to do this at the end of every season, that's what my finales normally are. So we're going to be looking back at everything we've done, the good bits, the bad bits and everything else, along with my plans and goals for the upcoming season. And while we're doing this, I'm probably going to do a little mini tour of the server while I'm talking about all the different things we've done. So this may end up being one of those longer videos. So this season, so at the beginning of season two, I had lots of different plans and aspirations for this season. I had lots of builds planned, lots of projects planned, and most importantly, I wanted to do lots of collaborations. But as viewers of this series, you'll know that that didn't happen. Plans changed, projects were revised, and certain builds didn't turn out the way I wanted. Like at the start of the season, we built this hobbit hole, which I really liked it. But I ended up living in this star house for the entire season, essentially. Apart from the last few months when I've been living over in my industrial area, but that's another story entirely. And yeah, after the initial period of living in here, we kind of abandoned Star Town because it looked really bad. Like we had the moss all over the place and stuff. Like moss had just been released. Well, it released when the, the server updated for season two. So we were experimenting with it and we just left the experiments lying all over the place and it didn't look good. Until about February, when myself, Rustic and Alpin decided enough was enough and we wanted to overhaul this area. And just look at it. It looks amazing. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, around the turn of the new year, we noticed the server had a few different problems. One of which being the starting, which is why we got around to overhauling it. It was just something we planned out of the blue. I said to everyone, right, we're going to be overhauling the start town because it looks like a mess. Myself, Rustic and Alpin got together, threw up a design in a few days, and then within a week or two of that, we got a bot on the server. Right in time for a server tour, funnily enough. Then there's lots of other projects, like of the different shops I ran in the shopping district. As always, I did the iron shop this season, and I once again flooded the economy. I don't know if I'm going to be doing iron next season. I probably won't. I'll probably leave that to some of the other members because I want to do something a bit different. But you know, I like doing my shops. I had the arm shop. We had the magma block shop. Magma block? Yeah, magma block shop, which is a collaboration. And we also had the die shop, which was another collaboration. So I only actually had three shops this season, which wasn't really all that much. And that's really it for the projects I did over here. There was a bunch of projects in the nether which I'm probably not going to show because I'm really all that impressive. And so with a quick transition, let's head over to the industrial district. So the industrial district was one of my most favorite projects this season. I had an idea for a bunch of farms in one centralized location. And since we weren't building our technical farms or any farms for that fact within a few thousand blocks of, well, everything else, I wanted one area to do everything in. Now, at the start of the season, we had a villager area. I'm not going to bother showing it because it's fairly boring. If you want to see that, go and watch the beginning of my season, which uh, link to that in the description as well. But yeah, that was a mini industrial area to get started. There was an iron farm and all that stuff over there, but it wasn't quite good enough. And for the past few years, I've had this idea to do this like super chunk project. It was inspired from something I saw in Hermitcraft back in season four, I think. Yeah, it was season four. Something I did. Obviously, I wanted to do my own touch in this project and this blossomed into my industrial area. 
Now, unfortunately, this project is unfinished. I kind of discovered, let's just say about two months ago, that this project was insane. Like this platform is 15 chunks across, so 15 chunks wide, both sides. I planned on doing mountains surrounding it. Now, in order for these mountains to be scaled properly with the build, which was going to be right where I'm standing, the mountains probably would have had to be about 200 blocks tall, or about up to the current world build height, which is 320 blocks. That's insane. The new mountains don't even go up that big, and they're huge. So I put that project on the back burner, and then this entire project just kind of fell apart. I've tried designing stuff and it was just way too big for me. So yeah, what I'm basically saying is I didn't plan this thing out properly. I probably should have done some more planning before I broke ground on this project, but it was a really cool idea. And like I said earlier on, because I love this project as much, and because I was working on it for most of the season, I ended up living out here. And you know what? Living out there was fine by me. So on top of all of that, I actually had another big project planned, which I never quite got around to. And that was a mega base. Like, I love the concept of mega bases and stuff. Hell, I bought one in the first season and I wanted to do one again and I had a really great idea. But, I just never got around to it. Now that's mainly because I lost inspiration for the project. I just felt that this season I needed to take lots of breaks because I just wasn't feeling it. And certain other things that were going on in the server left me with less time to pursue the projects I wanted to. Which is why this season I actually took several breaks. Obviously there's a break I just had. I had one I'd like to say around December going into February and then I think I might have had one before that as well. And because I kept on losing inspiration that's one of the reasons why I started the hardcore series. One because I wanted some other stuff to do that wasn't autograph related because I needed a break and two because I wanted to experiment with my content. In which if you've watched that series I'd highly recommend you do. It's really worth it. You'll see that I found my new passion for videos and stuff like that. Which kind of leads me on to my season 3 talking points. So the plan right now is season 3, we're going to be starting around the time the 1.19 update releases. Now as I said earlier on, the 1.19 update drops, I think it's June 8th, we probably won't be updating right away, mainly because there's a few server side mods we use for performance and one or two client side mods that our members can't really live without. So we'll probably wait for a few of those to update, so it probably won't be any more than a week at most, but then we'll be getting things started off. Once the season has started, I can't give you an estimation for when my videos will release because next season and for all videos going forward they're going to play quite similar to the hardcore videos I produce. So what I'm saying is a very tight editing, this type of video, which is I've basically done this type of video all season, you know just kind of freestyling and not really having a plan, that's not going to happen anymore. Every element of my episodes will be planned apart from certain collaborations, those appear naturally, or should I say more spontaneous. So yeah that's that. Um, other things as well, like we're going to be doing a start town again. That's going to be a lot of fun along with having a shopping district. And I think the way the plan currently is, is we haven't selected the CG yet. In fact, tomorrow, so it'll be the day before this video releases, we'll have the seed selected. But the general idea is the shopping district and start town will be in separate places, separated by a few hundred blocks. So completely different biomes. We're actually aiming to make use of Mushroom Islands again, which we did back in season one. Basically it was a really cool idea and we probably should have done it this season, but hey ho. In general, my general plan for next season is I'll be living in Star Town for the first month. So you know, doing all your star builds, that sort of stuff, we'll probably have a farming area with some small farms to get it started elsewhere in the world. And then after the first month I'll be heading off to my base location because I will be building a mega base next time, starting after the first month. And yeah, that's that. So if you're interested in joining us because you know we have an application and stuff like that, then uh Go into the description and fill it out, it should be right at the top. Now, a few things about the application, we look for users above the age of 16, for obvious reasons, and we look for content creators on either YouTube or Twitch. Anything else, we're going to say no. So, if you're interested in that, make sure you go and fill it out. And yeah, that's that. So what I'll do is, we're in the star house right now, I'll put all my tools and armour inside this chest, and then when you guys take the world download, you can get all of my gear, and I know for a fact several other members are doing that as well. So that'll be it for this episode. Make sure you check back for the next season, which will be starting in a few weeks from when this episode is released. If you want to know when all that stuff is happening, make sure you follow my Twitter, join my Discord, and join the Autocraft Discord if you want Autocraft-related updates and content. And yeah, I'll catch you all soon. But yeah, if you like this, why not look at this video? You'll like it.